today, but we're going to start as always with a welcome song. Welcome friends, it's time for music. Welcome friends, it's time for fun. Singing, dancing, great composers. Music is for everyone. Welcome, I am Miss Elizabeth from Clap for Classics and I'm so happy you're here for our Wednesday mini class. We are uh, doing a mini class every Wednesday at 11, so I hope that you will make this part of your schedule and come and spend a little bit of time with me. I have some fun things planned today, and I'm gonna start out with a song that you probably already know, but we're gonna sing it in kind of a different couple of ways. And the song is Row, Row, Row Your Boat. So first I'm gonna kind of sing it in a low voice. And if you would like to do Row, Row, Row Your Boat with me, you can sing along. You can pretend you're in your own boat. Can you? your imagination. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Do you think I can sing that in a high voice? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. That's a really, really high voice. Oh my goodness, maybe that was too high. Let me sing a little bit lower. with me and if I'm singing in a lower voice can you sit down and clap with me so we're, when we're singing low we're gonna sit down closer to the ground and when we sing high we're gonna stand up and sing higher so if you don't mind if you're here live and would put your name in we're gonna sing to a couple of our friends that are here all right we're gonna start with a high one let's all clap cuz Ruby's here Ruby's here Ruby's here let's all clap cuz Ruby's here Ruby's here today. Now let's, that was a treble one. I hope you're standing. Let's all clap cause Jack is here. Jack is here. Jack is here. Let's all clap cause Jack is here. Jack is here today. And I know Jack, he's a friend from Alabama. Hi, how are you? Arthur's here. Let's all clap cause Arthur's here. Arthur's here. Arthur's here. Let's all clap cause Arthur's here. Arthur's here today. We're singing in a high treble voice. Let's all clap cause Charlotte's here. Charlotte's here. Charlotte's here. Let's all clap cause Charlotte's here. Charlotte's here today. We're singing in a low bass voice. <laughs> Hi Jack. Uh, all right, let's sing to a couple more friends. Let's all clap cause Rosie's here. Rosie's here. Rosie's here. Let's all clap cause Rosie's here. Rosie's here today. Treble voice. Let's all clap cause Rosie's here. 
let's all clap cause Wilder's here, Wilder's here, Wilder's here. Let's all clap cause Wilder's here, Wilder's here today. Last one, let's all clap cause Abby's here, Abby's here, Abby's here. Let's all clap cause Abby's here, Abby's here today. Oh good, thank you for singing with me. Did you try that standing up and sitting down? That's getting our, our ears used to, um, our ears used to that treble sounds and our body goes up high and then those bass sounds and our body goes down low. All right, very good. I would like to, um, oh, I wanna talk about some instruments that we might see that sing high and low. So the treble instruments, I'm gonna tell you something kind of funny. Instruments that can play really high are often smaller. Have you ever seen a flute? Here's a picture of one. I don't have a real flute to show you, but here is a picture of a flute. It's a small metal rod and you play it like this. You blow over, there's a, there's a hole. You blow over this, the, the top of the hole and the notes come out and you can, you, the keys are here for your fingers and they play really high notes. In the treble clef, flutes play really high. And there's even something called a piccolo that's like a flute, but even tinier and it plays even higher. So the smaller the flute gets, the higher the notes get. A violin is another instrument that plays in the treble clef and plays really high notes. So when you hear a violin, you're usually hearing treble clef notes. Now there's some other stringed instruments that I wanna show you. The cello, is a stringed instrument. It looks a lot like a violin, doesn't it? Look, it looks like the big brother to the violin. The cello is a bigger stringed instrument. And do you think it plays bass notes or treble notes? As the instruments get bigger, they get lower in sound, so they play bass notes. And then the very biggest of the stringed instruments is the double bass. And the double bass plays low, low, even lower notes. The double bass plays notes that are almost too low for our ears to hear. It plays so low. In our monthly music course that we've got, we have partnered with some professional musicians who introduce your kids to um, their instrument and play some excerpts of classical music. And this month we have the double bass featured as well as the flute. And uh, the bass player plays in the LA Philharmonic and he um, did a really great job showing us some of those really low bass notes. So you'll have to uh, make sure you check out our May course to see that video, but it's, it's very, very cool. So, all right, I want to listen to some classical music with you today. This also comes from our Carnival of the Animals course. This is my friend Hilo the kangaroo. Can you say hi, Hilo? That's funny. His name is Hilo because he can, he jumps high and low, and high and low, and high, and low. And in the music, Saint-Saëns is the composer who wrote the music Carnival of the Animals. He wrote a piece for the kangaroo. And do you, can you imagine, I bet you could guess, the music is sometimes high and sometimes low. And sometimes high and sometimes low. So we're gonna listen to it now. And when I listen to this music, I like to think of a little story in my mind about a kangaroo. And this kangaroo starts out hopping Hop. Can you hop like a kangaroo? Can you hop, 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 hop like a kangaroo? The beginning of the music, we're gonna hop. So get your hopping feet ready. The, the, the kangaroo starts out hopping. She's going on a little adventure and she starts hop, 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 hopping. And then something happens and she gets a little bit nervous. This is the, my story that I have imagined in my mind. I would love it if you would listen and imagine your own story in your mind, but I'm gonna share mine with you right now. She gets a little nervous because maybe she hears a predator she hears a sound in the distance she thinks might be a predator. And so she hides behind a rock. And then she gets brave and she peeks her head out. And you'll hear the music go high and then low and she hides back behind and then high and then low and then high. She gets a little bit more brave and she starts to hop again. Hop, 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 hop. And then she gets nervous and she does it again. So we're gonna listen to this music and I want you to listen to those two parts that you'll hear, the hopping sound and then the hiding sound that goes low low, high, and you can make your body go low and high with me, okay? Are you ready to try it? This is gonna be kind of fun. All right, we're gonna see if my music will work today. Here we go, pop, 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 pop.
sees at the end of the music. What do you think happens to Hilo the kangaroo? I want you to go and listen to that music again and make up your own story and act it out if you want. You could use a cushion, couch cushion or a chair to hide behind, but it's kind of fun to bring that classical music to life. So that is from Carnival of the Animals, the kangaroo movement. Okay, very good. All right, I have another kind of fun activity with treble and bass. And I have a printable. If any of you parents would like this little printable, just really easy, just send me a message and I'll send it to you and then you can print them out and make your own little treble and bass printouts. And then something fun would be to play with the music while you are singing a song. Try it high and low. Or um, also this, is, this next little activity is kind of fun. You could get some of your stuffed animal friends and try to put them in groups of treble or bass. So we're gonna do that with a couple, in this, um, a couple of animals right now. My first one is my friend Rumble the elephant. Can you say hi to Rumble? Do you think the elephant would go in the bass section or the treble section? Do you think an elephant makes high notes? High notes like the treble clef? Or do you think it makes low notes like the bass clef an elephant? Hmm, what do you think? Tell your grown up right now what you think. I think he makes low notes like the bass clef. Did you say bass clef? So our elephant makes low rumbling sounds to communicate. And that's why we named our elephant Rumble. Good. All right, let's try another one. Okay, how about this one? Meow. Do you think a kitty cat belongs in the treble or the bass? Meow. Treble is high notes and bass is low notes. <laughs> Would you put the kitty cat in the treble? Meow. I think kitty cats are, are hot, make you high notes, don't they? Good. All right, we're gonna try three more real quick. All right, here is my friend. This is a cow. What does a cow say? Cow says moo. Is that a treble sound or a bass sound? What do you think? Tell your grown up. Moo. Did you say bass? I think a cow makes a bass sound, doesn't it? Moo. Very good. All right, here's another one. This is a mouse. What does a mouse say? Does a mouse say squeak, squeak, squeak? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Does he think that's a treble sound or a bass sound? Hmm. I think the mouse belongs in the treble sounds, don't you? Those high squeaking sounds, very good. All right, my last animal I have. Let's see what you think. Do you see what this is? I think this is a toucan, it's a bird. Do birds make treble sounds or bass sounds? What do you think? Hmm. It might kind of depend on what bird it is, huh? I think, oh, whoops. <laughs> Most birds make treble sounds. Tweet, 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 high up in the, in the treble, treble notes, right? All right, very good. So that's something fun. You could try out some of your animals. Do you think they belong with the bass notes or the treble notes? I'd like to sing a bird song since we were just thinking about birds right now. And this song is really easy to play on the ukulele too. So I know that there's lots of people that are learning some new hobbies and um, picking up different things while we're on quarantine. So if ukulele is something that you're interested in playing, there's a lot of songs, and especially children's music, that you can play with just a couple of chords. And this is one of them. This is a two chord song. Um, and this is one of my favorite bird songs. It's Little Bird. If I've got some friends here who can think of a bird, you can, um, can you type it in the chat for me and we will sing about your bird. But there's lots of different birds we can think of. I want you to think about what birds you might see when you go on a walk outside. What birds do you see when you go to the zoo? Maybe you've been reading some books about springtime. You might have seen some birds. You could think about what birds can fly, what birds can't fly, what birds live in different parts of the world. There's lots of different birds out there. So let's sing about some of them. If anybody has a favorite bird, they can put it in the chat and we'll sing about it. Little bird, little bird, fly through my window.
cardinals out of our window. Should we sing about a cardinal? material in this month, including those classical music, meet the instrument videos from professional musicians, which are really great. We've got um, printable resources for you, downloadable song and audio tracks, as well as um, instruments that you can purchase if you'd like some Clap for Classics instruments to go along with your course. We've got that all ready for you too. So check it all out at clapforclassics.com slash monthly music. And we hope that we will see you here next week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.